What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ricky Williams, a.k.a. Nigga Domus, a.k.a. Whatever. Coming back at y'all. Post-fight thoughts. Floyd. Money. A.k.a. TBE, a.k.a. The Best Ever. Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao. Um, I wanted to show the beginning of the fight, guys, because from this point here, where I have it paused for you, this fight was over. Right here, at the center of the ring, before the fight even started. Now, you guys seen a fight, I seen a fight. I'm not going to get into all what, the, what happened in the fight. We know what happened. If you know boxing, you know what happened. I had to fight. 9-3, I was in Vegas, me and the wife, we had a good time, shared the uh, moment with uh, other fight fans out there for the weekend, when I came home, because I, I paid for it at home too guys, that's how I rock when it comes to boxing, I scored it 10-2 when initially I had it 9-3, um, and if you've got it worse than 9-3, you don't know shit about boxing. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you laced up gloves. I don't care if you're a trainer. I don't care. I don't. I really don't. If you had this fight worse than 9-3, you don't know what the fuck you're looking at. Plain and simple. It was easy work. I told you guys from the beginning. If you guys shot my channel and go look at one of my videos back from, two, from five years ago, I told you guys. Manny Pacquiao on his best day couldn't beat Floyd Mayweather on his worst day. It's levels to this, guys. I've been telling y'all that forever. You've got sea fighters, tomato cans, taxi cab drivers. You've got some B, which are okay fighters. you got some A, which are good fighters. you got elite, and then there's another level. Floyd Mayweather is that other level. People want to say all the time that styles make fights, but never want to apply that to when one of their favorite fighters or their favorite is fighting. It doesn't matter, guys. It's a science of boxing. Okay? It's a science to it, and Floyd Mayweather has mastered that science. Congratulations to Floyd Mayweather Jr. 48-0. One fight left. We should be appreciating this guy when he's here. Plain and simple, short and sweet. Now, let's get into the aftermath, the shit that's been going on. Um, first thing I want to say is this. Floyd Mayweather won by being smart and doing what he was he's trained to do, what he's trained to do, what every other boxer who ever tries to does this professional as an amateur in a gym is trained to do, and that's box smart, be first, hit, and do not get hit. That's what boxing is about. Not these slug fests, not these wars that you guys see two two people beating each other into concussion. Those are fights, right? You can see a fight on World Star YouTube. At your local gas station. This is boxing guys. Boxing. But again. Point this. Manny Pacquiao looked bad. He was totally ineffective. Except for a couple of shots throughout the fight. Not flurries. A couple of shots. He did land a left hand. Which woke Floyd up. Right. Had some good body shots. In later rounds. But overall, this guy was totally neutralized. Neutralized like acid. He just couldn't cut it. He couldn't burn through. Right? This guy looked worse than Marcos Maidana. Marcos Maidana looked better than this dude. But I digress. This shit after the fight is bullshit. Anybody else buying to this fake ass shoulder injury and all this other bullshit they sell. And if you use that on any forum, on any thread, on any video as a reason for this guy losing, go fuck yourself. 
Just go and do it. Go and fuck. Pull your dick, stretch it out, cut it off, and stick it up your own ass. He lost. Everybody in the arena know he lost. His corner know he lost. He know he lost. Right? But let's just say, for argument's sake, let's just say for argument's sake, if this guy here would have beat this guy, no matter how he did it, let's say he did it by moving and pot shotting Floyd all night. Hold him when he had to, to quell the action, to ice to ice Floyd out to keep his legs from getting hot from to keep his rhythm from being established. Cause that's what Floyd used a holding for. It's to stop your rhythm. It's to stop your action. But let's say Manny Pacquiao did this. Let's say he moved beautifully around the ring with his footwork, moving in and out while catching Floyd with, with heavy left hands and left hooks. Uh, while making Floyd miss. Oh, uh, I throw him more punches than Floyd and land him more than Floyd. This guy will be considered the all-time great today. Not just today, but of all time. You couldn't you wouldn't be able to stop hearing ESPN say it about it. You wouldn't be able to stop seeing hearing Skip Bayless and the other billion pack tards that adore this guy as the second coming of Jesus. Automatically automatically, this guy would be given all-time great status. For beating this guy, no matter how he did it, whether he did it on a cut, a disqualification, it wouldn't matter. This guy would be exalted as the greatest fighter of all time. Think about that first and foremost. Let's think about that. Okay? This dude right here, Floyd Mayweather, Beat the guy, the monster, that everyone built up, that had all the tools, the awkward angles, the fast footwork, the punches and bunches, the lightning fans' hands. This guy, that Pactard Nation, that ESPN, that so-called boxing experts, people that get a check to do this shit, built this guy up, the Frankenstein monster, to beat this guy. And every time he does this, he beat Pacquiao before the shit's even over. They're saying, oh, he should move up to fight GGG. Oh, Amir Khan to give him problems. Oh, Thurman's the one to beat him. Again, ho, shut the fuck up. All right? With all this saying, everybody saying Floyd Mayweather legacy is not cemented until he beats Manny Pacquiao. Right? For five years, y'all be saying if he fights Manny Pacquiao and he dominates him, I'll put him up there with the all-time greats. With the all-time greats, excuse me. But as soon as he does what you said he couldn't do, y'all is eating your own shit and throwing it back up. Give the man his fucking due. Give him his due. Manny Pacquiao's shoulder was not hurt. His shoulder got scoped, which is a small incision. He, he His rotator cuff was not fucked up. It was not broken. It was not cut. It was not torn. You want to see someone with a bad shoulder, go watch Andre Berto. And that fight he had, I believe, was Jesus Soto Carras. That's a fucked up shoulder in a fight. Manny Pacquiao, top rank, pussied out. Because they got to keep this guy relevant. I've been telling people forever, you got to keep him relevant. And now that he's been beaten by Floyd, he has no relevancy. Because, again, every time someone opened their mouth about Manny Pacquiao, he was the guy to beat Floyd Mayweather. The only reason this guy was anything is because he, as Floyd told y'all, he was attached to his name. What does he do now? Anybody he fights that's a legitimate welterweight, not in top rank stable, is trouble for him. Marcos Maidana, Amir Khan, uh, 
Adrian Broner. Zab Judas, Zab Judas calling this pussy out. And I'm calling him a pussy because he got his ass whooped and can't take it like a man. Fuck Pacquiao. Fuck Freddie Roach. Fuck Bob Arum. Fuck Top Rank. Ain't nothing I can't stand more than a man who, no matter what, just can't say, I lost. You got beat. You got me. When the writing's on the wall, read it and learn from it. But instead, they're trying to take a, a chalkboard eraser and get rid of what's there written, written in pen and stone. Floyd Mayweather has nothing else to prove, guys. He has nothing else to prove. To be honest, I wish he would just retire. Because no matter what he does, no matter who he beats, the club is going to build some fucking Frankenstein of somebody who can beat him. He's faced every style, guys. He's faced every type of fighter, every type of will, every type of intelligence in the ring. You cannot outbox him. It's not going to happen. He's not going to let you. You see Da Vinci in the ring and people don't even say, I respect that. It's sad shit, man. It's sad shit. That's all I got, guys. Leave your rate, comment, subscribe. Leave your comments at the bottom. To all the Pactards, the Pacquiao fans, the dehydrated... I don't know, man. Again, I told you guys so. I've been told you so. Anyway. Uh, tonight we got Keith... Oh, I was about to say Keith Thurman. Fucking up. What's that boy name? James Kirkland versus Canelo. I got Canelo by mid-round stoppage. Why? Uh, Kirkland is a beast in there. He's a beast in the ring. His defense is horrid. This guy has no defense whatsoever. He's straight. He's a straight come four fighter. He's not going to be able to. Swim, he's not going to be able to swim Canelo like that. It'll be exciting for the first three rounds. Then when Canelo get starts slipping punches and letting his hands go, he's going to stop this dude. He left Ann Wolf. Why? I don't know. What people don't understand is that uh, vibrationally in the world, people have synergies, right? Sometimes you get with that person that makes you better. Sometimes you get with that person that makes you worse. And Wolf makes him better. They have a synergy. They have a vibration that connects. They understand each other. And sometimes that when, when you have the right person next to you, the person that can grow and uh, amplify your energies, Sometimes skill is not needed, right? Sometimes destiny comes into play. Sometimes will beats out skill. But it's few and far between. It's like I'm telling you, telling you guys, you keep trying to wait for Floyd Mayweather to have a Roy Jones moment, and it's not going to happen. He's not going to give you guys that satisfaction. He's not going to do it. That was the only hope Manny Pacquiao had. For six years, that's the only hope he had. But this guy's supposed to be the second coming. That's all I got, guys. I mean, as I mentioned, I know it's a bit of a rant. I apologize. Um, as I as I mentioned to you guys, please rate, comment, subscribe. It's your boy. And I'm out. Did I say all that for nothing?